Hello everyone, welcome back to Dan Outdoors. Alright, so tonight I'm going to uh, attempt to camp out in the uh, Dan's den that we've uh, done the last two videos, clearing up, getting it all ready and everything else. So we're going to have uh, some dinner out here, we're going to do uh, meatballs and spaghetti, and uh, we're going to have a little fire and camp out for the night. So yeah, so sit back and enjoy and uh, hope you enjoy the video as much as I enjoy being out here. So. Nice one. Right guys, it is currently raining, um, it's not heavy and uh, we are quite sheltered here, so I'm going to get a fire started because I can't wait to get my food on, so yeah. I don't know if you can hear that in the back but that's a bit of thunder. Now, it is a Father's Day present, but my kids and wife have been very, very nice and they're letting me have it early, um, as long as I give it back to them the night before to wrap up to give to me for Father's Day. So, thank you very much for letting me have it early. But, this is it. Lovely quality. All handmade. But, yeah. I won't go into too much detail about it because I don't know if the gentleman that makes the knives wants to be uh, publicised or not so don't want to go too much into it but thank you very much it's a lovely knife it's exactly what I want it to and I'm going to have a little play of it again today in this video so yeah so right, we are we? right yeah we're lighting a fire Right, so I've been told that I'm actually using this wrong. Instead of using the knife to scrape down, you're supposed to use this and pull back. So I'm going to give that a try today and see how that works. Because yeah, apparently if you do it this way, it spreads a lot of sparks. Where if you hold the knife and pull back, then they all go into one spot apparently. So yeah, let's see how well it works and if it makes any difference. difference to be honest. There we go. Oh no! I put him out. <laughs> oh right. Try again.
Right, let's try that again. It's not my day today. I'm not having a very good day today. Right. Go back to the uh, thing of the night. Right. Being stubborn today. Maybe it got a little bit wet. Tell you what, tell you what we're going to do. We're going to scratch that bit because it's obviously not working, and we're going to get lovely new bits. We're going to get something nice and flat. And we're going to try again. We don't really have this much trouble. So I'm not quite sure why giving me so much stick. Like I say, I don't really need it. We can try to use it as that bit as well. There we go.
like to make you aware that we do take safety precautions every time because nobody wants to get in trouble for burning the forest down or anything like that so yeah oh that seems to be going well though so that's good well, i have noticed a little branch going up there. so yeah this is the fire so far it looks big but it really isn't um fire pit is doing amazingly well um i wasn't too skeptical about it but yeah that's a lovely fire look at that and them stones are doing well and then my little setup down there got my little uh, table with all the uh pans and food and stuff and then my hammock's up, my tarp's up, so, and then in, in, the, in my uh, hammock I've got my sleeping bag and I've got a blue, blue mat underneath, so yeah, should be good fun. Hopefully that'll give us enough to do the video today, with no more... Uh, I just want a really nice good set of embers so I can get my pan on, get my food cooking, not have to worry about it going out and not have to worry about adding any more to it or anything like that once the pan's on so yeah just Bear with me while I load this up. Plus we might as well get a good usage out of this fire pit. <coughs> so we won't go too crazy at making it high. It's more about filling rather than great and high. Plus it's a great way to clear up all this wood because everyone likes to be fire. So I'll just chuck these last few little bits in and uh, let that burn about for about 10-15 minutes and then we'll get our uh, meatballs on. Because it's like nearly half past, well I don't even know what time I think it's about, half past seven, eight o'clock. And I am absolutely starving. Alright, so while that's doing that, I'm going to uh, make some room. Ooh. Where's the best place to put this? <laughs> Maybe there. Sounds like that thunder's back.
Where's the lid? Right, so that's the water on the boil for the pasta. Meatballs are on. So, uh, yeah, going good. Does anyone know why that does that? They are smelling good. Really good. I thought we reckon the candle's gonna be. No, that's good. Look at them. Yeah, listen to that. Lovely jubbly. By the look of them, they've got to be cooked. I haven't cut this one up. Let's have a look. I'm just going to go off potluck. But yeah, look at that. I mean, I don't know, you can't really see it very well in the camera, but it just looks black. And it's all the, all the remnants of the inside of the pan. But it's just a stainless steel pan, so I'm not quite sure what it is or why it does that. But yeah, we're going to give it a go and see uh, see what happens. Mm. Might be a bit charcoal on the outside, but lovely in the inside. Oh, it's bubbling over. I think that's an indication to take it off. Um, yeah, see, I didn't bank on the handles being up. I need to invest in one of them gloves. Can you stop? Fire resistant gloves. I tell you what, that's brilliant actually. I've seen uh, Sunny JS Outdoors use it quite a lot, and yeah, to be fair, that thing works a treat. So, uh, right, just bear with me. because this is going to get technical, this is. <laughs> See if we can extend them handles. Smoking the oak, oh no. The other handles are burning, uh oh. Quick, get them out. <laughs> Oh no, this is not going well is it? This is, <laughs> this is not going well. This bit is going well until now. Oh, I'm burning myself. Oh, I don't want to lose my pasta. <laughs> I'm going to lose my pasta. Definitely got to invest in a glove. Definitely got to invest in a glove. I think that's what's going to be coming out of this month's paycheck. Move them. See if we can get our hands in there. Just to get it out. One, two, three, go. Whew, that was off. But it's now off, so. <laughs> Tell you what, meatballs and spaghetti is a lot harder than it looks when you're not using a cooker inside. Right. Now we can have a proper look. So. 
Oh yeah, look at that. That's it. That's it, right. Now we're going to try and drain it without spilling any of the pasta. Just put these down. Cool, we're losing light as well. Didn't think it was supposed to get dark until 10, 11 o'clock. Although I suppose we are in a bit of a sheltered, uh, sheltered woodland. So, right, let's get rid of that pan. Let's move this fire back to the centre. Good. That's good, that's good, that's good. I'm gonna leave a little bed there because obviously I'm gonna be putting a sauce in and stuff, so. Right, what do we reckon? Am I gonna be able to do this or is it all gonna end up going as fail, plonk, gone, not gonna work? What do we reckon? So good. Oh, shit. Sorry for swearing, but I lost the fucking pasta. <laughs> After all that effort. After all that effort. I lost it. Not good. I can't even pick it up because it's just, yeah, look. It's just loose soil on the floor. Just literally loose soil. So, uh some animal's going to be happy and it's starting to rain again just not my night tonight if if anything I can try and say I've had a, a nice fire and I'm going to enjoy my meatballs um, I'm not going to bother opening the sauce and putting them in because it's just a waste of sauce without the pasta um, also the battery on my phone's dead and for some reason even though I charged it last night the battery pack's dead as well so not going to be able to continue film, filming much after I've finished doing the dinner, so I think I'm just going to call it a night tonight and uh, yeah, try again next weekend because this weekend has just been a complete fail. So hopefully it's entertaining for you guys to watch, but not so much enjoyment from me tonight. I'm just going to load the fire back up and sit back and watch the fire for a little while. Anyway, yeah. Well, as you guys can see, I had a lovely stack of wood for tonight. Um, obviously, with the anticipation of staying out here tonight, but honestly, yeah, I can't. I can't believe I lost the spaghetti. All the things to lose. I lost the spaghetti. <laughs> There's nothing else I can do but laugh. If I don't laugh, I'll cry. Although, it's a learning experience, because now I know, like for example, things like spaghetti that need draining. Um, yeah, I know with it, the risks of now doing it, where I didn't really think about it, to be honest. I just thought, oh, that would be a wicked meal to cook out on an open fire. and. I've seen people do curries and things like that and it's not much different so I thought yeah I'll give it a go but I suppose with a curry there's not much drain I don't know I suppose you've still got to drain the rice so yeah I don't know maybe there's a tool for it for campers so maybe something to have a look for, for maybe but like I say it's not just been the, the cooking it's the whole day's just been a bit of a blur really yeah, never mind. We gave it a go. <coughs> so 
whole point of my channel is just to get outdoors and have a bit of fun to be fair anyway it's, it's not about the camping or the fires so much and things like that it's just about getting outdoors and having a bit of fun and uh, I record it to send to my family and stuff so I just thought well I'll send it to them for them to get a bit of enjoyment so why not make a channel so everybody can kind of um, anybody that wants to have a little bit of a nose around and have a chit chat I mean like I say I'm quite new to the bushcraft stuff so I haven't got a lot of skills there to do in my videos yet I do plan on um, getting a bow drill set um, or famism which hopefully I should be able to get either this month or next month and then I'm going to have a little bit of a play with that so that will be an interesting video so yeah don't miss that and uh, I'm also going to um, buy one of them uh, char, uh, char sets um, I think JNS Outdoors did a video on it um, last week or the week before and uh, yeah I really like the look of that and uh, that looks like a good crack so definitely going to get that and have a go at that as well so yeah just give you guys a bit of an insight of what I plan to do really so you guys don't think I'm doing the same boring stuff every time Yeah, I'm just loading it up good and proper because I just want to sit back and watch it now and just relax for a little while. Listen to the thunder. Hopefully I don't get soaking wet. Although to be fair, this fire is nice enough, but I don't think we're going to worry about it. And again, don't worry people, I am making sure that it's safe. I know it looks big and stuff, but yeah, believe me when I say it's... Not as big as the ones that I have in the garden anyway. Like I say, it is all enclosed and stuff, and I won't leave it like this, of course. I will wait for it to go out, or I'll put it out myself. But I'm just chucking on all the wood that I've got to burn tonight. And have a massive, decent little fire instead. How's that? Well, I think I will leave it there now, though. Right guys, I'm about to turn you off and take you off the tripod because outside is currently absolutely smashing it down. Thunder, lightning. I'm not sure if I should be under here with the lightning, but well, yeah. I can't really as well leave that, so I'm going to sit and watch that. The rain puts it out, the rain puts it out. Um, but yeah, so what a complete and utter fail tonight's been. <laughs> Maybe next week will go better. I'll bring All right, guys. I don't know if you can see me very well. Not, it don't look like you can see me very well. Um, fire's doing quite well. I'm not doing so well. I mean... I've had to rearrange the top because, yeah, things are getting wet. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's just not going well. <laughs> let me see. Ah, that's better. We've got the torch. Right, so when I let go of this, this hangs out just a little bit. So, yeah, I need a little bit of practice, I think, on setting up tops. And the hammocks. I mean, this side's not too bad. This side's pretty good. So, yeah, I don't know why I did this side. But this side's pretty good. I mean, I did have to put on a little bit of um, string to stop the rain from getting into the hammock. Um, I did that on both sides. But, yeah. Um, I think it's definitely safe to say that I'm calling it a, I'm calling it a day. Because, I mean, it was supposed to be lovely and sunny today. But, for some reason, this... Thunderstorms come out of nowhere. I mean, look at the ground. The ground is absolutely drenched. How that fire... Well, to be fair, that fire is raging hot, so it ain't going to go anywhere. But, yeah, so I'm just going to stay under here, wait for it to settle down a bit. And then I'm going to uh, 
attempt to try and pack as much of this away as possible. Uh, so, yeah. Sorry it hasn't been a very good video, guys, but hopefully it's entertaining for you guys more than anything else. Um, I mean, I'll go through it, edit it, and see what bits I can pick out. See if I can even make a decent video out of it, to be honest. But, yeah, um, yeah, wish me luck. Right, so the rain hasn't stopped, and it's uh, just getting continually worse. So, I've taken down my hammock. Um, I've left my strings up for now, and I'm going to leave the tarp up. Um, but I've taken everything else down. I've tidied everything else up. In the meantime, I've left my meatballs out in the pouring rain. So they're uh, not much good either. So, I mean, this ground is now boggy and wet as, as everything. So, yeah, I'm really not enjoying myself. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to uh, try and do something with this fire. And then uh, I'm calling it a night. So, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. And hopefully the next video will be a lot better.